Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash building challenge video. Today, I'm joined by Juniper. We're gonna be doing a two player building challenge. So, gonna be using this song called Sweet NES by Anderson187. I forgot to put in the start off set. Uh, okay, that's the one. Like strategies to just do one side at a time. I don't think, how am I gonna do that? I need to keep it low key. So, I might make this a mini instead. So, I'm gonna put a portal up here. Let me make some blue pad gameplay. So, you hit that and then you gotta immediately jump after. But instead of a block, I'm just gonna put another purple okay that makes sense and then we'll have a yellow okay and then that could be another timing over here no nope. you see how it glitches to go up to that block i guess i'll just make a really safe land safe landing you can do that surprisingly i'm gonna make that a bit harder just gonna move that to the side oh my God. Oh, that's actually not, that bad. It's not that bad right we're gonna time this jump i've decided oh god no not like that okay, don't, worry, like, don't, worry, don't, worry, don't worry 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 <laughs> Do that cool. Like, how does he just come up with this? I spent like an hour yesterday trying to come up with basic, basic gameplay. Yeah, see, I'm deleting stuff though. I'm building stuff fast, but I'm also deleting it fast, so yeah, it's fine. You like, you can process so much. I can't use the keyboard very well though. I'm getting nerfed by the keyboard. I'm not a fan of that structuring, so I'm gonna change that to a box. See if I can make as much of this a multiple of two as possible. Yeah, you see, all my structures are multiples of two, which is gonna make it really easy to decorate. What do you think? What are you doing? Oh. oh, mama. <laughs> what was that? What just happened over here? Are what we you, not going to get an explanation? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why are they so... I look away for two seconds. Hold on, that's way off grid because of the hitbox of this spike right here. I haven't really scaled it properly and that's really annoying. So I'm just going to try and redo that. See, it's better if I set up the block first and then put the spikes on top. 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 I should probably start thinking about the top soon because you see that's not much space. Right, I should start thinking about the top now. Uh, I don't think that's not how that works. Anymore. That's not how that works. It is how it works. That doesn't seem right. The portal boundaries up here are different to what they are down there. So I manipulated the portal with a move trigger that moves up four blocks to the top of the screen so that it still acts as if it's here. You ready? Yeah, here it is. We're going to the bottom. That sinks so well. That was mine, bro. Should be fine. Big structures go first, and then we make the little ones around them. Get out the way, Starbucks. Toggle trigger inside here that basically makes it so you have to click so that three gets toggled. Three is a saw blade that's... I'm gonna say it's here. Oh, one thing I need to do is make this toggle trigger invisible so it just acts completely naturally as a level. Now, you see the copy-pasting part is about to come into play. Let's make something really simple as a design. I'm gonna have to preview mode this. We're gonna put a black base to start off with. Half space that into the 2x2 two two grid. Let's just make that color channel 2 black. I wanna make like an animated outline. We're gonna make a square like that. I gave each side of the square a unique group. We can have that outline like that. Let me make my alpha trigger effects. We started with 4, right? 4, 5, 6, and 7. One after the other. But they need to start off as 0. You see that? Whoa! It goes... And then something else I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it upside down and reverse and just scale it up like that on a new editor layer. That's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. Hold on. <laughs> I have figured out a potential solution. One block later, build helper, different editor layer, right? We go to this, we put it back on the same block, but smaller, ever so slightly smaller. Select all that again. Next block, ever so slightly smaller once again. So there should be three outlines, right? They kind of fit in one after the other, but I can definitely flip them around. So two can be backwards, three can be backwards and flipped. We can definitely have a version that's small scale with no fade time at all. A little bit of rotating, mix up the speed it's happening. I don't know. I don't get, see, look. Why? Why is this a thing? The is scale happening? is not changing, but the way these blocks are moving, if I do this enough, is that something I can do? <laughs> I would love to know why that happens, if anyone can tell me in the comments. See, why when I grab this, was it scale 1.89? Gonna have a half opacity version on the inside. 20 is half opacity, which is kind of a cool number to use. Background can be black. We're gonna go for a little disco thing. We're just gonna make a really flashy object line with no fade times at all. It can go to the light green. It can go blue, yellow, 
Okay, that's gonna have to do. I'm just gonna loop this as a group of four and I'll move it down so I can tell where the original set is. Now, I'm kind of concerned because I'm not gonna be able to scale this down all one by one. There's a lot of one by one blocks. I have to make a new block design. I'm gonna work on just putting this on a bunch of different blocks. Now, I could shade this as well. So like this, there's just three blocks in a row and it looks kind of silly. I'm gonna put the orb on the block behind like that. I can kind of just shade that. So the middle one is the main character. So I kind of want to mix this side, like the ones in the middle with green and orange. I'm gonna copy this color and just shift it to the orange. I could use a hue change, but I want to be more accurate. That's kind of ugly with the block. Interesting. That's a mini block. I am not a fan of working with a black background because the grid goes invisible and I am still a grid relier. There's a lot happening. It's fine. Black glow is your friend. Okay. I'm just going to kind of cover up some of it. it looks kind of better, actually. For the one by one blocks, I think I might just put some pulsing objects in there, which is something I do a lot, but we can definitely reuse the alpha groups. So if I have a small green square right here on the starting group, which is four, copy paste, make that full and have that as five. And then we can have maybe point two five version, which is above everything on the orange. And then a small version, which is below again. That works. We just make the object solid color and then we have that over the top. New color channel. Copy the color of the object. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Why is it like that? I guess I just accidentally moved this up a block. Okay. So we have a mix of structures here. There's some with a dark base and then there's some with a light base. The orange is really strong, but that could honestly be fine. It's not very often that I experiment with dual colored things. Okay. So we have our pulsing colored objects in there. That's it's a bit wild. Scale hack. Scale hack. Okay. Group 20. Where are you at? Where are you going? <laughs> Where is it? I hate scaling. That could work. A little decoration behind the scenes. So now I am going to be lazy. I'm going to put these in the ground. I don't want to just use object blending over and over again, but I feel like it just looks good. All right. The bottom ones can have green in the center and the ones at the top can have orange in the center. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But we are going to edit the rotation on these to 30 because it's just better. Okay. Luckily, I put glow there, so that just sits really prettily on top. Prettily? Really? Is that the word I chose? Prettily? It's an actual word, but, like, no one would use it because it's stupid. Considering I had no ideas before I went into this, I'm actually pretty happy with it. We can have a big one there. Another big one here. Big, 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 big. <laughs> What's up with that? Are you kidding? Is everything all right over there? Hmm. Those are green. Aren't they supposed to be orange? True! True. I contributed! Then we're gonna put these little rotate things that I discovered recently. You just figured out those exist? You don't you didn't know they exist. No, I knew they existed, but I didn't know how epically they could be implemented. You yeah. Right, watch this. So if I mini space these a bit, you'll see that the rotation kind of just like staggers on top of itself. See how cool that is on the bottom? Yeah. Orb stuff! Orb stuff! Woo! Glow! We love glow! I want to reuse the alpha triggers again. Probably just going to do these with huge circles. And then we use the low opacity. Opacity? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And that needs a group. What are we going to go for? I'm going to say... 15. It's just a random number. Sometimes what you gotta do. Give me another random number. Four. And another one. Eight. Okay. I'm gonna put the middle circle as not low opacity. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. Oh, I love copy pasting. I'm gonna do one last thing. Selecting all. Turning off glow because these saws have some sort of player color aspect to them. You'll see they look a little bit different now. Here we are. We're in the menu. We're gonna play. Probably beat it in one try. Actually, you don't know how it works, do you? Oh, Q I W J D O Q I J W D O I Q J W O D I. It flows right off the tongue. Oops, that's my fault. That's my bad again. You made that's this. your bad. Ooh, oh, interesting. Would cross over. I mean, not do that. Oh, oh my. God. my... The thing's actually pretty decent on both sides, and it's different. That's maybe that's my me, fault. How's the visibility? I kind of messed up. It's a little hard to see, but... <sighs> Come on, we got this. Oh, no, that, that last click is so hard. That's my fault. This jump is stupid. Oh, yeah, man. let's go. Successful video. Anything you want to say about that? What do you think? What do you think? I love geometry, Dad. Come back. Hey. And that's that. I'll upload the level to Dan's video. woman. I got a new message when you reloaded. Hashtag Advi out. Thank you for watching. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.